Welcome back to another episode. Welcome back to another episode. Um, my mic is, for some reason, I think it's chipping out. I don't know if it's my mic or if it's my monitor, but um, I'm going to try my best to push through this. Now, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Derek Asante, and today we have another one for you. This one, I want to focus and shine some light on all the community leaders that are out there doing all the wonderful things that they do. And I don't think they get enough credit um, or praise for the things that they do, the sacrifices that they make. So today, let's celebrate and recognize the incredible community leaders who have you know, dedicated themselves to promoting positive change and improving the lives of those they are surrounded by. How about that? Right. Let's give it up for them because it is important. It is important. The work that they do is is amazing. Now, if you don't know, you should know. You ought to know because in every neighborhood and community, there are unsung heroes who work timelessly, tirelessly to uplift others, often without even seeking any recognition or reward. And that's what makes these heroes so incredible. Right. It's the fact that they do these things and it's so selfless and, and they are not selfish individuals. And so that's what makes them that much you know, more special. Now, these individuals that I want to shed some light on, they're leaders who are driven by a deep sense of purpose. Right. And often it's it's incredible. This is what amazes me is that they're really, really genuine. Right. And. They have this desire to make a difference, and that's usually what propels them to do what they do. Sometimes their drive is is ignited by personal trauma, right? Experiences that they've gone through. Sometimes it's through other people's experiences, right? Vicariously, or circumstances that they've witnessed or have gone through themselves. And so those are the things that sometimes really propels them to say, you know what? This is my new purpose, or this is my purpose. And I want to share with you some examples of some of these exceptional community leaders, right? Who have transformed not just their neighborhoods, right? But the communities that they either work in or work out of using their passions, right? And, and also their perseverance and their unwavering commitment to those that they are serving. And that's what they are. They are really servants for all of us. Many of our leaders, recognize the need for you know safe spaces for children to play to learn and to grow as far as their development and and these things are important but for some reason when we look at our institutions they are not on the top of the list as far as priority which is unfortunate now i'm not going to get into politics but this is about the community leaders and i want to make sure i give them their light and their time because with sheer determination, they rally volunteers, they secure funding, and they transform neglected spaces into vibrant ones. These are the people that I want to really tip my hat off to because once upon a time, I was doing the work that they continue to do. Right? My path shifted, but they still remained. A lot of them still remained and, and moving up in different places and still making um, a change and having an impact in those neighborhoods that they serve. So I really want to make sure that we don't lose sight of these heroes. If you have one of these heroes, I really want you to make sure that you, you reach out and you thank them for the things that they do, because their efforts often bring joy to children, but also foster a sense of belonging and community pride. Some people don't even live in the neighborhoods that they serve, but when you meet them, you couldn't even tell whether they lived there or they didn't just because of how connected they are and how driven they are to see that change. Now, rather than turning a blind eye to social issues like homelessness and, uh, and things of that nature, these leaders often take it upon themselves to establish shelters. They volunteer their time. They provide services. They use their talents and, and you know, uh, allow other people to benefit off their talents at no cost. And sometimes it at, it's at a charitable uh, donation, right? They don't only provide roofs over other people's heads, 
but they also create supportive environments that offer counseling, job training, and pathways to more stability. These are the things that the leaders do that we don't see. They don't necessarily go on Instagram and all these social platforms and post for us to, to say, oh my goodness, what a great thing they, that this individual is doing. They don't do that. A lot of them, you don't even know they're doing the work that they're doing. A lot of the work that they've done or they continue to do, you might see it on your posts by someone else sharing it and so forth, but you still have no idea the people that are behind this thing and making it happen, the magic, the effort, the time, the love, the passion, the commitment, the dedication, the sacrifices that they are giving so that we can reap the benefits of, of their, their time, right? So it's, it's really their compassion and their dedication, right, that have continued to transform countless lives. Now, when our community leaders recognize a lack of access, guess what happens? They are determined to tackle that challenge without reserve. They don't hesitate. They just jump right into it. They see it's a problem. What they can do, they'll jump in and start providing that. Start helping. Right. Uh, if they need more resources or reach out to other like minded leaders and say, hey, uh, I see that you're doing this over here. We could benefit from that. And maybe what we're doing over here, you can benefit from from us. So how about we barter? How about you trade? You know, you give me some of your time with your abilities and I'll give you some of my time with my abilities and see what we can do for our peoples. And these are the things that they do. They're not waiting for government agencies to come in and say, hey, here's five dollars, here's fifty thousand dollars and and go ahead and, and buy some X, Y, Z and, and give it to the people. They're not waiting for the handouts. A lot of people just jump and go right into it. Some people offer their time. They offer their space. Right. They offer a couch. You know what I mean? So it's it's beyond what we can imagine. And that's what's really powerful about some of these leaders that I'm talking about. Uh, you may have one as a friend. You may know someone who you came and you come in contact with um, over the years or recently. Reach out to them again, connect with them. And you know what? Simply shake their hand. Tell them thank you for all that you do, for everything that you do. Everything, all the sacrifices that you make goes unnoticed. It falls on deaf ears sometimes, the cries that you, you shout for help or assistance and support and it falls on deaf ears. I want you to know that I, I recognize what it is that you do for me and those around me. So I want to thank you for that. It means a lot, you know, so let them know that. And, and with the help of volunteers, a lot of these leaders also transform vacant lots into thriving urban gardens. Like you'll see a lot of uh, places in the city of Toronto where the rooftops have become uh, green spaces. Right. You also see um, patio spaces that have uh, section converted into green spaces. So all these things that we're trying to do, you'll have neighborhoods where they have a garden and make them accessible to those living in those neighborhoods, providing fresh produce to residents and promoting healthy eating habits. These are things that a leader, someone who cares about the people and lives amongst the people and serves the people is constantly thinking about solutions, right? Their vision and leadership not only addresses critical needs, but they also foster a stronger sense of community and connection. That's what it's about. We do need each other. As much as we think we don't, we do, right? And these community leaders and, and many others like them are the backbone to positive change in our neighborhoods, in our communities, for our children, for the schools, right? Community centers, they inspire us to think beyond ourselves take action to create a better you know, world and, and a right to live where we live. And this is, this is what a leader does. But I guess the question I want to pose is, what can we learn from them? Right? And how can we support and emulate their efforts? These leaders understand that it takes collective effort to bring about any form of lasting change. They engage volunteers. 
they collaborate with local businesses and forge partnerships with community organizations and politicians even to maximize their impact. And that's what it's about, that collective, collaborative approach. Now, another important lesson is the ability to identify needs and take action. That's, that's a skill that some of these leaders, a lot of these leaders possess that we all should maybe try to develop for ourselves. These leaders have their own, you know, their fingers in, in, in and on the pulse of the communities that they, they strive in, that they work in, that they serve. And they listen. What's important, too, is that they, they are very observant when it comes to identifying areas where their passion and skills can make a difference. They have to know who they are. And so once they understand that, they can go in and actually provide a service and, and offer up the skill sets that they have. And they focus their energy on specific issues, right? It's not just a huge uh, blanket of I'm coming to save the world. No, it might be something small. Like, you know what? I notice a lot of these school age kids don't have books. They don't have pencils. They don't have backpacks. And they do a drive to help out those single parents or those who are less fortunate. So they focus their energy on specific issues that they're able to create meaningful change that resonates with the neighbors, right? Now, really, to wrap things up about my beautiful and wonderful community leaders, they remind us that everyone has the potential to be a catalyst for positive change. Challenge me if you like. I don't think I'm wrong on that. They all started with an idea and a deep desire to improve their communities through their actions. They have inspired others to join them in their efforts. Right? So just remember that community leaders are still around us and their stories are worth sharing and celebrating. By highlighting their achievements and learning from their experiences, we can ignite a spark within ourselves and become catalysts for positive change in our own neighborhoods. So I want to thank you for joining me on this episode. And together, let's celebrate this remarkable community leaders that we know, all those that we know, who are shaping a brighter future for all of us to enjoy. So until next episode, love, peace, and nappiness. <laughs>